Hi, it's Jordantine One, and today I'm here to share with you the pattern for my new bracelet. I'm really happy with this design. You can see here that it features some of the main Disney characters. So I've made two different versions. The one at the top here features some new colors that Rainbow Loom is experimenting with, so they're not available yet. I did share these new colors in my first Simpsons bracelet video, but I just wanted to make some things with the colors so you could get a better look at what the bands actually look like when they're in a bracelet. So I did the two versions because I know with this first version not everybody has these colors, so I wanted to do something with the colors that are already out there so everybody could make this. So let me just quick point out what the new colors are that aren't available for purchase yet, but Rainbow Loom may include them in their new line of Alpha Loom band colors if everybody likes them. So the entire background for this top one here is this metallic silver. I really like the color. They actually had sent me three different shades and this one here is the lightest and this is number 17. And then the skin tone, or what I'm calling the skin tone, it's really more of a pink pastel color, is what I use for Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy. And I only got one shade of that, and this one is number 20. So I really like both of these, and I do hope that they will include them when they have their new colors come out. So let me just tell you the characters in case you're not sure what they are, but hopefully everybody can look at them and tell. Um, we have Mickey and Minnie, Pluto, Goofy, and then Donald. So I will be adding the pattern for this one at the bottom, and I hope that everyone really loves this one as much as I do. To make this bracelet, you can use either the Alpha Loom or the Full Size Rainbow Loom. And I do prefer to make it on the Alpha Loom for a few reasons. I like that the pins are spaced a little bit farther apart width-wise so your bracelet can grow down a little bit easier. And I also like that the pins are closer together lengthwise. That way your tie bands, those clear bands, don't have to stretch quite as long. And then, of course, you have your alpha comb that has the seven hooks, which helps you loom a lot faster. But I know that not everybody has access to an alpha loom. So you can definitely do this on the rainbow loom and you would want to have your pins spaced in line with one another and then you would just use seven sets of pins that are straight across. So I wanted to give you just a very brief demonstration about what it means to double a band. So when you're dealing with the alpha loom bands, they're nice and small. So all you do is stretch those straight across from one pin to the other. But when you're dealing with a regular size band, which you will often have to do if you want any color that isn't available for the Alpha Loom bands, you're going to have a band that's about twice as big. So you're going to have to double this, which you can do in your fingers, you can do it on your hook. What I found is the easiest is to just place it on one of the pins, twist, and then just loop that other end back on. And then what you just need to do is take your hook and grab both of those loops and stretch it straight across. So basically now you've just doubled that so it's going to be about the same width as your regular Alpha Loom band. To make my bracelet I used a total of 434 of all of the colored bands and so let me just break it down by each color. I used 43 red, 117 black, 33 purple, 9 pink, 47 green, 29 white, 33 yellow, 5 blue, 32 turquoise, 36 orange, and then I used 50 skin tone bands. And these are regular size, so you will have to double them. And these actually came out of the camouflage pack. It's the lighter tan color and they do have a very similar color in the skin tone pack as well. And then I used 61 of the clear bands just to tie the rows together. So here's my bracelet once again, and what I'm going to do is to add the grid pattern right above my bracelet, so then you can just pause your video and follow along with that 
to make your own bracelet. And if you need any further instruction on how to read a grid pattern, what I'll do is to add the links to my tutorials. I have one that shows how to make a creeper bracelet, and that'll give you the concept of how to follow a pattern on the alpha loom. And then I have an American flag tutorial that shows you how to make it on the rainbow loom. So let me just tell you a few more specifics about this particular bracelet. It is longer than my normal bracelet, and I did that just because I wanted to fit all five of the characters on here. A lot of times if I have six characters, I'll break it down into two different bracelets. But for this one, I just had the five main characters. So it turns out to be 62 rows in length, which is pretty much going to be too big for most anyone's wrist. So you'll probably just have to pick out a few of your favorite characters and make out a bracelet using those. So as I said, this one here is 62 rows long. And when I measured it, the length is right around 9 inches. So I found that generally about every 7 rows equals an inch, give or take a little bit. So you can measure your wrist and then make your bracelet accordingly. Now if you do want to make your bracelet larger or smaller, you're going to want to do that either on the ends or in between each of those characters. And I do have two rows on the ends and then two rows in between each. So really you can space them out as far as you'd like or put them as close together as you like with at least leaving one row in between just for some definition in the characters, but it's really up to you however you like to customize it. I hope that everyone loves their new Mickey and Friends bracelets. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, and you can post your pictures. I love to see everybody's creations. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then that way you'll get the latest tutorials as soon as they're available. You can find me on Pinterest and Instagram as well, so please feel free to sign up for those. And as always, thanks for watching!